Tonight, cell phone video of what appears to be an attack on a student at Perry High School. The 11th graders family says he was attacked twice at school today, ended up at the ER. Jennifer Barrasso spoke with them and joins us now with the story you'll see only on KDKA. Jen. That's right, Ken. Well, Chrissy Higgs is angry. We're waiting to hear how her son is doing after he came to the ER. His mother saying he was pelted in the head with a pop can and jumped. She says that things at Pittsburgh Public Schools, they're out of control. And she says that the district and students need to be held accountable. I'm infuriated. They, they can't keep our kids safe at all. Mom Chrissy Higgs is infuriated after watching cell phone video of her son being pelted with a pop can inside Perry High School Thursday. Guy, the kid walks up, throws a pop can at his head, and then just starts hitting on him. Higgs says her son and his girlfriend in blue are cornered and punches started flying from several students. They pinned him and his girlfriend in a corner and three of them just started hitting on him, punching him, hitting him, kicking him. She says her son believes he was attacked for defending his girlfriend. She took him to the emergency room, fearing a concussion. He has a lot of bruising on his face. He has a lot of bruising on his head, um, scratches and cuts all over his chest and back. He is currently being checked out for a concussion in the emergency room right now. Higgs is more than concerned for her son's safety. She says things are out of control and the school system needs to be held accountable. They can't control these kids. They have a whole school of kids they can't control. I don't feel like they try to keep our kids safe like they should. No one from Pittsburgh Public Schools would talk on camera. A spokesperson says security and staff quickly broke up the fight involving multiple students who were sent home. The matter is under review. All students will face school-based disciplinary action. They're just as bad as the students that are doing what they're doing. They're letting them do the, they're letting them do what they're doing and basically telling them it's okay because they're not having consequences. Their consequences one day out of school. Well, the kids enjoying that one day out of school. And I asked a school spokesperson, what kind of discipline could these students involved face? And what is the district doing about safety? No answers. I also reached out to several school board members for an interview. No one agreed. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.